I said there's nothing more intimate than drawing somebody's face without actually being intimate physically. I always say that I'm an over-glorified photocopier. <laughs> um, but no, I, the way that I work, especially with portraits, is I start with the eye first. So I start with what I find the most interesting to draw. And it's always the eyes for me. I really like drawing the eyes. Um, and then I just work outwards. Hair is, a, hair is difficult for me to draw. <laughs> uh, hair is kind of like my white whale. <laughs> I can't draw hair. I just feel like, especially with certain pictures, express, certain expressions, I really want to capture that. So if I see a picture, like sometimes I'm not even looking and I'll be like online or whatever and I see a picture and I'm like, I really want to draw that just because of the, how expressive it is. So for example, that American Psycho one, I just, I really loved that and the sort of insanity that you can see in his eyes, that sort of struck me straight away. Um, I do like how expressive the eyes can be, so that's always um, that's always a good subject. It's very rare that I'll sit down and I'll do a whole piece um, constantly until it's complete. Um, this most pieces that I start, I don't finish until months or even like years later. <laughs> so it is really because. because with, with drawing for me, it's the process of it that I really enjoy. So it's the it's the precision, it's the looking at everything so intricately and then mapping that out onto paper. That's what I really enjoy and like I said, it, it's a certain mindset that I need to be into. It's not about creating the piece itself. So, you know, when the spirit moves me, I can do it every day or I can do it once a month or, you know, whenever I do feel like it. There's no pressure with it. Even with my kind of artwork, um, I should say realism or even hyper-realism, um, when I was sort of first first doing this about six years ago when I started drawing properly, um, and I was posting it online and things like that, and I, I came across a few conversations about how hyper-realism isn't really art because there's not really that much creativity in it. You are essentially just copying the piece bit by bit. Um, as opposed to sort of other works of art like abstract and surrealism and things like that. Um, so every, everyone has an opinion on it, but in, in my opinion, the reason that I think it's an artwork is because there is the, the process, like I said, there's nothing more intimate than drawing somebody's face without actually being intimate physically. I mean, the way that when I draw somebody's face, I'm looking at every single pore, every wrinkle, every blemish, and I'm recreating that. The process for me, it's, it, it is a very intimate spiritual process. Um, there was a piece that I did, um, I can't see it here now, but it's, um, it's this homeless man um, with the dreads, is, it, is he over there? Uh, oh no, it's just under the tag one, I think. Yeah, so that's actually, um, that's a homeless man in, in Manchester, actually. Uh, my friend, um, a few years ago, took a portrait of him. Um, and it was just, it, again, it was just the face that I saw and it really inspired me to draw him. And um, yeah, I drew that and I kind of wanted, I started doing this um, kind of project of doing sort of the homeless people in Manchester because I think there's a, a bit of weight behind it. Like most of the time they're not seen. So I feel like me sort of recreating that was almost like a way of, I don't want to say like balancing it out, but kind of give, giving them a bit more attention. Um, and I, I wanted to do a whole um, exhibition on it and you know speak to them about the stories, but that never really panned out. But no, I, that was one of my favorite pieces. And I really enjoyed doing that one. I found him as well. I, I saw him again on the street and I showed it him, but I think he was drunk. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I think, what did he say? He said, um, cheese and biscuits was his reply when I showed him the piece. Um, but 
you know, on, on like a higher level, at least you know, there's, 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 some, there's some attention and he's, at least he's been seen. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was quite, quite funny actually. <laughs> yeah, I think he was super drunk, but... <laughs> Not the response that I was hoping for. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.